Hello, welcome to Evening Prayer on Friday, the uh, 9th of July. Uh, and uh, the uh, readings today, this is the 14th week of Ordinary Time, our last day. So hopefully we're getting ready to have a wonderful uh, weekend coming up and uh, celebrate uh, the Lord's Day on Sunday. But here we are on Friday, the cusp of the weekend. And, uh, this is my last weekend in uh, in Michigan, heading back home on Sunday after Mass. So uh, please again pray for Ami and I for safe travels, as well as all of our, our kids who are also traveling. Uh, are all going to be up here together for this weekend. And then uh, everyone's heading back to uh, North Carolina and Georgia uh, after the weekend. So uh, pray for all of us. If you would, that would be wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, our readings today. Uh, the first reading is uh, finally uh, Joseph and his father Jacob slash Israel um, are reunited after many years. Uh, Joseph was thought to be dead, and uh, Jacob finally got to see his his youngest son alive and well in Egypt. And uh, was happy, at, at, uh, overjoyed actually, at being reunited with his son. Beautiful story uh, of reunition, reuniting there with uh, with the two of them. And uh, it's always, you know, when we when we have family members that are far away from us and uh, separated from us, and we finally get to be. Uh, back together again. It should be a time of great, great joy. I've had the uh, awesome pleasure of being reunited with many of my cousins and aunts and uncles uh, over this week and friends uh, from my uh, my youth, my younger days, as uh, I uh, uh, did a lot of visiting with uh, with family and, and uh, seeing people that I hadn't seen and in decades, and uh, it was uh, it was lovely, beautiful, and uh, I uh, uh, in some cases uh, it's only been a couple of years. Of course, like you know, last year we didn't do anything, so but it's, so it's been at least two years since I've seen a lot of these people, and uh, yeah, it was uh, joyous and happy, and uh, we can't wait to do it again. So uh, it's. Uh, a cause for great joy to be together with the people that uh, that we love. So uh, I was really blessed to enjoy that this week. Our gospel today uh, is uh, sort of the other side of that coin. Jesus is sending us out, sending us away, sending us to preach and teach others, um, to uh, to bring others to into the family to to enlarge our our Christian uh, family and uh, but he warns us that uh, there's many out there that aren't going to uh, take kindly to what uh, we're trying to do as uh, Christians is to bring people closer to Christ and uh, he gives us a very good and uh, firm warning that uh, there will be people that will uh, persecute us and even put us to death for uh, doing his work. But uh, be strong, be, uh, be courageous, and persevere to the end. Don't give up. Don't give up. That's the key here. When we uh, live a life of evangelization, that we we don't say uh, I can't do this anymore and I quit. Uh, that's just not not the way it's supposed to go. We're supposed to persevere to the end. That's what Jesus says in the gospel today. For those who do persevere to the end, your reward will be great. So bank on that, okay? Let us pray our evening prayer and pray for the perseverance we need and pray that we have opportunities to be filled with joy as we uh, celebrate life and, and the people we love 
when we get those opportunities to be to be united and, and back together again. So anyway, let's go. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, keep my soul from death. Never let me stumble. I love the Lord, for he has heard the cry of my appeal, for he turned his ear to me in the day when I called him. They surrounded me, the snares of death, with the anguish of the tomb. They caught me, sorrow and distress. I called on the Lord's name. O Lord, my God, deliver me. How gracious is the Lord and just. Our God has compassion. Our Lord protects the simple hearts. I was helpless, so he saved me. Turn back, my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has been good. He has kept my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God of power and mercy, through your Son's passion and resurrection, you have freed us from the bonds of death and the anguish of separation from you. Be ever with us on our pilgrimage. Then we shall sing rather than weep. Keep our feet from stumbling so that we may be able to follow you until we come to eternal rest. Lord, keep my soul from death. Never let me stumble. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. From where shall come my help? My help shall come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. May he never allow you to stumble. Let him sleep not your guard. No, he sleeps not nor slumbers Israel's guard. The Lord is our guard and your shade. At your right side he stands. By day the, not, the sun shall not smite you, nor the moon in the night. The Lord will guard you from evil. He will guard your soul. The Lord will guard your going and coming, both now and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you have prepared a quiet place for us in your Father's eternal house, home. Watch over our welfare on this perilous journey. Shade us from the burning heat of day, and keep our lives free of evil until the end. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. King of all the ages, your ways are perfect and true. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor, or the glory do your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. King of all the ages, your ways are perfect and true. A reading from the first letter to the Corinthians. What we utter is God's wisdom, a mysterious, a hidden wisdom. God planned it before all ages for our glory. None of the rulers of this age knew the mystery. If they had known it, they would never have crucified the Lord of glory. Of this wisdom it is written, Eye is not seen, ear is not heard. Nor has it so much as dawned on man what God has prepared for those who love him. Yet God has revealed this wisdom to us through the Spirit. Christ died for our sins to make of us an offering to God. Christ died for our sins to make of us an offering to God. 
He died to this world of sin and rose in the power of the Spirit to make of us an offering to God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Christ died for our sins to make of us an offering to God. Remember your mercy, Lord, the promise of mercy you made to our fathers. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Remember your mercy, Lord, the promise of mercy you made to our fathers. Let us bless Christ, the compassionate and merciful Lord, who wipes away the tears of those who weep. Let us cry out to him in love and ask, Have mercy on your people, Lord. Lord Jesus, you console the humble. Be attentive to the tears of the poor. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Merciful God, hear the cries of the dying. Comfort them in your presence. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Make exiles aware of your providential care. May they turn to their home on earth and finally enter their home in heaven. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Be merciful to sinners who have fallen away from your love. Reconcile them to yourself and to your church. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Save our brothers who have died. Let them share in the fullness of redemption. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God our Father, the contradiction of the cross proclaims your infinite wisdom. Help us to see that the glory of your Son is revealed in the suffering he freely accepted. Give us faith to claim as our only glory the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, everyone, and have a wonderful, safe, and happy weekend. See you tomorrow.